Hey, I'm Brent. And I'm Bobby. And you're watching Now You Know. And this, this is... Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. It's as good as we're gonna get. This is our first video. <laughs> this is pro. This is pro level. <laughs> I should probably start recording the screen. Yeah, yeah, record that screen, Bobby. Is this part of learning right now? Click we're to record Learning how to make our first learning video. We are. This is how to make learning by Bobby and Brent. Today the subject is making a video go from color to black and white. Ooh. Yes, so we've had this problem before where we're editing a video and we basically need it to start color and fade into black and white. For dramatic effect. For dramatic effect. For example, we've got this one right here. <laughs> we've been working on a video for, now you know. Obviously. Obviously. And this is a scene where Jesse gets really sad and it fades into him in slow motion. I was thinking, Brent, I was like, okay, I need to make this fade into black and white, but how do I do it? Right, this should be an easy way to do it, you would think, right? You would think, but Premiere doesn't think so. Hmm. I guess Interesting. Adobe hasn't learned their lesson on <laughs> creating simple things that would be easy to do that everyone wants to do. So we're gonna teach you today. Brent went on Google and Brent found is, out. Brent is lazy and always wants to do it the easy way. <laughs> so I found out how to do it the easy way. So let's go into our Premiere file. And we're gonna click A as a shortcut key to move all our videos over without affecting the rest of the video. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a clip like this. So right now the black and white effect is already currently on. So we're gonna delete it. We're gonna do it from scratch. I'm gonna hit the Alt key and drag the music over. Ooh. And that actually creates a copy. Nice. Yeah, so I actually didn't even know it. Brent, I just learned that. something on video. Oh, learning. See? Learning. We we're learn learning things as we go. in real time. That's the thing, guys. You learn a lot as you do this. We're getting off topic. But we're getting anyway, off topic. This is our first episode. Maybe a later episode. episode. If, if you guys approve of us, <laughs> we'll get there. If we don't get, you know, shouted <laughs> off your computer screens, <laughs> then we'll do it in the second episode. Exactly. Okay, guys. So if you want to take this video and make it go from color and end in black and white, what we have to do first is go to the effects browser and what we're going to search is fast color corrector. So you're going to take the fast color corrector and you're going to drag it over the video. So Boom. then this pops up. So basically what we want to do is we want to take the saturation and as the video goes on we want to change it so that it's desaturated to 0%. So the way we do that is we have to go all the way down here. So a lot of parameters in here, but there's only one we need to worry about right now, and that, and is, that the is the saturation. Saturation, right here, is the only one we need to worry about. Just ignore the rest. Just don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. It's not worth it. Eventually, we'll make videos on what the rest of this effect yes, does. We need to get real crazy with it, but we for now, we're keeping it. it simple. We're keeping it simple as our first episode. So what we're going to do to start this effect is we're going to click the little stopwatch button here, and that's going to set a keyframe. And if you don't know what a keyframe is, it's this little diamond right here that um, basically creates a point in the timeline where something changes in an effect. So each effect has its own keyframe. And we work on keyframes all the time. Yes, keyframes, very useful, very, very important useful. in video editing. They're very important. Keyframes are key? They are key. Can we say that? Keyframes are key. Are we gonna get in trouble for that? I don't think so. <laughs> are people gonna be mad at me for a bad joke? <laughs> well, we're gonna obviously make some kind of weird like Keyframes are key yeah, thing. Yeah, make a little song. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do it right now. We're gonna cut, and when we get back, there will be a song. All right. <laughs> okay. And all right. Did you like the song? That was a good song. That's I'd say good song. we put a lot of hard work into that. That was so, a good song. And let me just show you again in case that distracted you. We're gonna set a keyframe here under the saturation effect by clicking the little diamond right here. Now we got a nice little keyframe. Get a nice little keyframe, and this is the timeline that we're scrubbing through right now. So what we want to do is we want to go to the point at which we want it to start to be black and white. So I Fully would say yep. probably right there. It's not the end of the video, but I want it to be black and white right there. That's yeah. just my Then preference. we have a little time where it can stay black and white for a exactly. while and you can really, really embrace the effect of Jesse's sadness here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put it right there about like, you know, it's three quarters like in. Two thirds, three quarters in. Yeah. What we have to do now is take the saturation number and just click on that box right there. And you can actually use your keyboard to type in the numbers. So we're gonna click zero and enter. Look so that. that's it, that's all it is. 
it created a keyframe in color, and you can notice the little number right here. It's changing Drop. as we move the scarf through our timeline. It's changing because the first keyframe is 100, and the second keyframe is zero. So Premiere does it by itself. It takes the first one, and it goes down all the way to nothing. Does all the work for you. So let's watch back and see what it looks like. Charger to replace our dying and dead Bosch wall charger. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. I mean, it was quick, but easy, easy, but effective effect. Effective effect. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully now you know how to take a video and fade it into black and white. Now you're a better video editor knowing how to do this. Exactly. So. And every week we will be giving you tips like this to learn and improve your video editing skills because we have to be constantly doing it as well. And we've learned so much. So we're just going to pass along the information yes. that we learned. Make the world a better place. Make the world a better place. On YouTube. Now you know. Now you know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time on Learning. <laughs> Learning with Bobby and Brent.